Thank you for joining us here again on Pray TV. And God is going to meet you in a very special way today. I pray that God does for you what he did for Elisha's servant. And we're going to read about that today from 2 Kings chapter 6, verses 14 through 16. The king of Aram sent a great army with many chariots and horses to surround the city. When the servant of the man of God got up early the next morning and he went outside, there were troops and horses, chariots, everywhere. Oh, sir, what will we do now? The young man cried to Elisha. Don't be afraid, Elisha told him, for there are more on our side than on theirs. Then Elisha prayed, O oh Lord, open his eyes and let him see. The Lord opened the young man's eyes, and when he looked up, he saw that the hillside around Elisha was filled with horses and chariots of fire. My goodness, stop and think about what that was like for that young man to be able to go out and see that this, this king of Aram had sent all of these horses and chariots and he, they were going to come down on that city and destroy Elisha. And we know that God had had this battle, this ongoing battle that had been going on for many, many years. But God was always one step ahead by informing his prophet of the things that he was going to do. In fact, the Word of God tells us that God does nothing except that he reveals first to his prophets. And so there is this prophetic sense that God wants us to be able to walk in, but we need to have our eyes opened in order to be able to accomplish that, to be able to really see, have that insight into the supernatural realm. Now, it goes on and it talks about how that this army was defeated and we see how God works miraculously over and over again through Scripture. But he does it even today. And we should not limit ourselves to think, well, somehow we are living in a different day and time and these supernatural interventions of a supernatural God aren't likely to happen. They are supposed to be happening because God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He is always working on behalf of those who wait on him. And that's what this program is all about. We're waiting on the Lord. We are encouraging the process of waiting on the Lord. Not like this program itself is the waiting on the Lord. No, this program is to encourage and stimulate and to provoke one another to love and good works and to, and to encourage you and us too, to be able to be praying and interceding and waiting on God. So it just helps. This, this little interaction just helps. It helps everybody who is willing to participate in it, who is a believer and wants more of God. I'm going to reread this portion of scripture, and as I do, I just ask that you would experience it. If you want to go to your Bible and get it out, you can push pause and, and, and go to that scripture. And that scripture is from 2 Kings chapter 6, verses 14 through 16. And we're reading from the New Living Translation, if you're looking for the translation of it. But it says, the king of Aram sent a great army with many chariots and horses to surround the city when the servant of the man of God got up early the next morning and he went outside, there were troops and horses and chariots everywhere. Oh, sir, what will we do now? The young man cried to Elisha. Don't be afraid, Elisha told him, for there are more on our side than on theirs. Then Elisha prayed, Oh, Lord, open his eyes and let him see. The Lord opened the young man's eyes and when he looked, when he looked up, he saw the hillside 
around Elisha. It was filled with horses and chariots of fire. Let's just look to the Lord right now. Heavenly Father, we just lift our eyes. Like that young man, we want to look up. We want to look above the circumstances. We want to look past these things that we see in the natural realm that seem to be so oppressive, so dangerous, make us feel so small, so insufficient. Lord, open our eyes like Elijah prayed for his young servant. Open our eyes so that we can see beyond the natural world into the way that you are working in your supernatural power. Lord, we pray that you will accomplish purposes for each and every one of our lives that take us on this journey that give us faith and give us encouragement. Lord, I pray that you will help us to be able to discern your anointing, your power, that is able to overcome all of the powers of the evil one. Any power that the evil one has is small compared to what you have, Lord. And so, Father, we pray that you will help us to lift our eyes and lift our vision. Give us a vision, Lord, of what's beyond the veil. Give us a vision, Lord, of what is beyond in your realm, in the heavenlies, so that we can walk there with you and move in authority. It gives us confidence, Lord, to be able to experience that. So, Father, we just thank you that you're going to send the revelation that each and every one of us need for this day to overcome all of the embattlement that might come against us. Yes, in this world we'll have tribulation, your word says, but be not afraid, do not fear, because I have overcome the world. You overcame it all, Lord, and we're to be overcomers with you, empowered strengthened by you. Amen and amen. God bless you, my friend. Walk in strength.